Oops, I was muted. Well, I wasn't speaking anyway, but... I didn't say anything anyway. I just sat down. Anywho. Squid, what's going on, man? Let me adjust some things. Just wait a little bit for people to start heading in. Maybe just a couple minutes. Not a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds. Whatever. That water tastes weird. Can you hear me okay? Testing. One, two, three. Hey, Nate, what's up? Gavin? Kronos, I already removed the locks and stuff. Uh, it feels a little bit mushy when you prime it back on the forward stroke feels a little bit mushy because it's no longer locked in place and you can very easily pop that back and it actually it feels like it wants to be in this position more than that position it's not enough to like do anything but if i jerk back hard enough you can see that it kind of comes undone so maybe taking out all the locks wasn't the best idea on the planet but um i like the fact that i can deprime it properly um, not sure if that pushed that round forward or anything. Didn't. But, it was just... Got that, so... Figured I'd show you guys. No spring mod or anything yet. Probably will eventually, but... I don't care enough about it to... Invest the time to cut the K26... I haven't seen any of this blaster. What is this and what is this and what's happening? Uh, it is a another hyper strife, and this one is themed upon whom we shall not speak of. It stands for um, uh, something. Uh, hold on. Let me actually. I can bring it up on the computer. Give me one sec. So, as you can see by that, um, I have blocked out certain things, and uh, that is because, um, hypothetically, if this belonged to someone, they might not like me using their name. So, uh, this is not what it looks like, but it is based on that which is not what it looks like. Uh, so, kind of complicated there, but I will neither confirm nor deny anything. I'll just show you the pictures of whom we shall not speak. Not saying that it is or isn't. And uh, that's, that's all we're going to say there. So, <laughs> uh, But that's what the blaster is going to be based off of. Um, so, yeah. Am I, sp am I loud enough here? just want to make sure. Anywho, uh, I'll switch that off of that, so I'll be right back. <clears throat> okay. So, that's what this blaster is. So that stands for the Super Nerf Foam Blasting System, or whatever. Too exhausted from the semester to care. <laughs> yeah, that uh, I feel you, man. I feel you. Um, so before we get started on this, just a little bit more sanding. Uh, I need to finish up sanding here. 
Uh, we're not going to sand the whole blaster, but what we're going to do is sand the contact points, uh, then glue it together, and then sand the rest of the blaster, just because I don't feel like... I, I feel like doing it that way, so... Um, I don't know how long I can stay. Phone is at 5% and kind of sucks at... I uh, kind of stuck at Johnny Rocker Rockets. Not complaining, though. Okay. Not a problem. Uh, so before we get started on this, a couple notes on the Caliburn. Uh, now that I actually know how to freaking run a mill without uh, killing things, uh, they have... I, I visited Makerspaces in the past uh, with a with a friend, and... Um, it's like $120 or something with unlimited access to any of the equipment and stuff. And they have, uh, what are they called? Um, oh, geez, I can't remember. Uh, Bridgeport. They have Bridgeport Mills, excuse me. And so I might try to make this out of solid aluminum. I, I can see how I would do it. I just don't know if I'm uh, skilled enough to do it. So, maybe that might be a thing. I don't know. Um, just something to think about. I might try to make a simplified design of this in my 3D modeling program just so I can get a feel of how to do everything. But, um, yeah. So, I, w I would need to plan accordingly. I would need to plan relatively well before I would try to attempt something like that because once I pay for the monthly thing... I'm not gonna do. I'm. I'm not gonna want to do more than one, uh, one month. Um, so pay my money, get everything done in that amount of time. Which obviously means I'd have to do this during the summer because I don't have time right now. Um, see if there's any other projects that I need anything else for. Uh, mill out a few small things and, you know, get that done. So, um, what I'm thinking about doing is for the bottom two to still have the thread threaded rods and then the top one instead of the threaded rod going through all the way uh you know how they have the the top rail or whatever the full rail system that slug made i'm thinking about making that out of aluminum which means i wouldn't have to have this long not even not that i even could make it but not, i wouldn't have to have a long um tube in the middle for the threaded rod since it's aluminum i could just drill and tap each one of the ends and then screw that together like that um this one the top one right here would probably have like probably go from the threaded bit directly into the threaded rod just so i could have it continue out the back but you know just thinking out loud and just thought about that the other day so How much are you going to do today? I'm not quite sure. I um, should probably take off my expensive jacket that I can't replace before I <laughs> uh, get into epoxy and stuff. But we're going to do a little bit of sanding. I would like to get the bond started with the methyl methyl acrylate. But we shall see how that goes. I'm going to take a nap. Bridge ports are fun to use, but you need lots of practice to get a good finish. See ya, Ben. See ya, man. Thanks for stopping by. Um... Finish I'm not terribly worried about because I'm probably going to end up um, sanding it anyway because I'm not like in super, super tight tolerances and anything that would need tolerances are going to be okay, but they'll be flat up against something else so you won't see them um, just because the rest of my build isn't going to have a milled finish because I plan on doing like the stock and stuff by hand, which means I would have to sand it and do that manually. Um, I don't plan on doing that with... with um, my current setup just because it'd be easier to get organic shapes with my level of knowledge by hand than to try to cut them out with the mill. But then again, that might all change, who knows, depending on what I want to do. Um, you never know, so. But yeah, thanks for stopping by, you're probably already gone, but. Um, okay. So. What are we doing? We're sanding. That's unfortunate. The proper tools here. I think we moved on from this, and I think we moved on to more sandpaper stuff, if I'm correct.
Now comes the boring sanding. That's what you guys all like, right? Everybody loves watching people sand. I said before, uh, the other day, I could probably use a heavier grit, but I just don't feel like fixing it later. So, just put a little more elbow grease into it, I guess. Hey, Hawkeye, did you see highlighter on Discord? Um, I don't really know. Oh, oh, your blaster. Yeah, I saw it. Looks good, man. I like the color scheme. I didn't know that's what you called it. I looked at the picture. I didn't see any uh, text if you included that, which you probably did. No offense. I'm just kind of busy as of late. Uh, this is better than watching paint dry. <laughs> Only by just a little bit. Oh yes, oh yes. Interesting technique on the sanding. Very, very intriguing. Unless someone wants to invest uh, $2,500 into a bench top mill. That'd be cool. Because with the stuff I'm doing now, precision, I don't need things down to five thousandths of an inch. I just need it to fit properly. Um, so, like, for, for hobby and stuff. Just, you know, do the layout fluid and then trace out what I need and just kind of do what I can. It doesn't need to be, like, super hyper precise or anything, so... If I got $2,500 from someone, that would probably go towards, uh, um, what's it called first? Dogma. Then I'd probably hope to sell Dogma and then get a, a mill. Sandpaper seems dull. Just get another one. Whoops, I may have forgotten that small part. What small part? Uh, just keep sanding, just keep sanding, just keep sanding, sanding, sanding. What do we do? We sand. Oh, 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 I like to sanding. When you want to sand, you want to sand. Finding Nemo, anyone? Got a paint spray gun. Cool. Takes a little bit of practice. But that'll end up being cheaper for a clear coat. If you go to a local paint shop and you just say, Yo, I need a 2K clear coat. Um, they should be able to point you in the right direction. If they ask you what you're painting, just say ABS. How much longer on this stream? Well, we only started 14 minutes ago, so it's gonna be a while. I don't, I don't ever plan these things though. I just kind of be like, I have a few minutes and I need to work on this. So, Do I have a say yo? What? It's like garden hose compared to the airbrush. Yeah. Uh, do I have to say... No, you don't have to say it. But 
Um, if they ask, you know, you don't have to be like, oh, Nerf Blaster, if you don't want to. You can. Uh, I told my local people that I do, and they think it's cool. But uh, if you're, like, embarrassed or something, you can just say ABS. Welcome back, Trico. <coughs> I'm assuming you meant so, not yo. Trying to be helpful. And you're just taking advantage. That's fine. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. How's it going? It's going pretty good. Tired from school and everything, but it's pretty good. Just trying to get some of this stuff sanded before we start bonding. This uh, paint's on here pretty thick, so. But we're almost done. We did the majority of it yesterday. Or, I don't know if it was yesterday. The day before? I can't remember. Couldn't have been the day before. Could it have? No. I don't know. We did it some other time. Haha, <laughs> you snapped your plunger rod. <laughs> you gotta remember those blasters are, you know, more than... Was it? More than 20 years old now. Almost 25 years old. That would be almost 25 years old, if my math is correct. Smartasses. I mean, 5 kilograms is still... Uh, what is that, 11 pounds? Still a lot. Hey Ben. Hey there, what's up man? How's it going? Stopping by our friendly yet somehow boring stream. We're just sanding away. Chatting it up a little bit. Oh, he said it before I said it. the actual kilogram of a K26. 
Um, there, it's not measured like that on McMaster car, so we don't actually know the kilogram rating. I'm really tired of asking that question. Um, it's kind of a stupid question, considering that I have a bias um, with that question, for obvious reasons. Uh, it's nothing that can be helped, it's just kind of the nature of what I do. Um, it's so uh, kind of tired of asking, answering that question, but um, I mean, whatever. The methods that he uses uh, take a lot more work, so I wouldn't want to do it that way, but whatever works for him. I also don't know exactly what resins he's using, so I can't say anything about that. Uh, have you ever had any problems with Kronos catching with change K26? I've never, um, I've, I haven't put a spring in my K26, or my Kronos yet. So, I'm not really a springer, I'm not really a guy to come for a springer advice, to be quite honest. I don't know what you're talking about, Gavin. I don't know who you're talking to. Well, it could also be that he's putting too many coils in there. A true modder will never waste money because he'll always find something to use it for. Especially a K26. K26s are very flexible. Um, no pun intended, but like, I mean, from a platform standpoint, they, they can go into a lot of different things. It's a very common size that you can fit into other things, so... Okay, that's it for removing the paint on the handles. Now we'll just come back in the rest of here and um, sand some of this stuff because we didn't get all of it. We just were trying to remove the paint here. So. Yeah, same here. Mainly flywheelers. He's being sarcastic. Ben, can you show me the wave of flywheelers? Nope.
If you're using that meme, you tend to be more intellectually challenged than the rest of the human population, so I wouldn't doubt if you wouldn't be able to use flywheelers. Bam, I went there. Ben, insulting his viewers. <laughs> Great strategy. I'm just kidding, of course. <laughs> Unsub. <laughs> However many uh, subs I lose from saying that, I'll gain like three more for every person that doesn't, because it'll be like, oh my god, he doesn't like that meme either. <laughs> Liam posted his bolt action rifle today. Kind of disappointed because I, I kind of wanted him to be like, surprise, I have a metal XBZ tank already. Because that's something he was working on, but it was just a normal XPZ, so it's like, oh. It still looks really good, though. I think it's one of his more clean builds. He always has uh, performance-based stuff. And, you know, this is obviously still performance-based, but... Uh, I think this one turned out one of, the, one of the cleaner ones. To be honest, I have a learning disability. No judge... frustrating that I can't get in these little nooks and crannies. If I wrap this with uh, sandpaper I would be, but I'm too lazy for that. That, that works fine too. So you did still get it in one. So you did still get it in one. I got one in one. I got what in one. I don't know what you're referencing. That I have a disability. Shake my head. Mobby. Like I said, we don't have to sand all the way up this thing quite yet. But I just want to kind of sand this general area first. I don't need to, because the methyl methyl acrylate is actually a chemical bond. Um, it's not an adhesive. I like actually, um, like if you put it on a piece of plastic, and then you take something, you know, like something with any amount of abrasion force, and you just do that very lightly, you'll actually rub off some of the actual plastic. That's because it's basically melting the plastic, kind of mixing with it a little bit, and then rehardening. And so it's like an actual chemical bond between the two shells. Almost like how acetone, you can uh, fuse ABS to ABS with acetone. Kind of like that, except it's, you know, epoxy and it's more, uh, more, of, a, more of a chemical bond than just kind of melting it. Have 
we gotten also also the other kind of requires you to have like a super flat to flat surface this will kind of fill in any gaps or anything up against two surfaces um so you promise I'm super lazy before the punch brought in place months have you gotten any neo rhinos neo hellcats yet if so thoughts I've um, dealt with the I got a bunch of the hellcats that I distributed uh, accidentally distributed too many and now I'm out which I'm kind of sad about because I wanted to have some for myself but whatever um, rhinos I have not um, so far they're the best ones that are commercially available on the market um, I still like my XP 180s better because the coming the routers on the XP 180s are balanced but obviously you can't get those anymore um, and by what I mean by that is you'll never get something as balanced as an XP-180 unless you balance the commutator because it's not only the flywheel that's out of balance, but the motor itself is out of balance. Um, so they, they tend to be much, much quieter and more efficient. Have you gotten uh, Hawkeye 007? Have, I have those two XP-180 motors for you. I'll message you on Instagram later today. Don't message me on Instagram because I will not receive it um, just because like Instagram is terrible with DMs. I don't know if you have um, Discord. You can message me on there. Um, or you can go to my Etsy store, which there's a link in the, the description. Uh, message me on my Etsy store would probably be the preferred way. But I do appreciate you um, contact me about that. Uh, you know you're doing good when your recycling bin is full and you actually, and the actual trash bin has five thing, things in it. Okay. I uh, have rat traps for unused. Make some claymores. Um, Neo rhinos are best 130s or something else. Uh, so far, yeah, the so far in my opinion, those two motors are going to be your top contenders for both of those categories. I would not bother with 132s because 132s uh, because they're not an actual motor size first of all and secondly uh the compatibility issue thing like if you're going to go with that you might as well just cut your shell and get some proper motors um but as far as i know even neo rhinos outbeat all of the 132s anyway so <laughs> uh, i would love the discord link also um, I don't have one, but if you go on Wacom's videos, uh, I'm not sure if he's, his latest videos will have them, but go back a few, like, a uh, month or something, and his link for his Discord will be in the description of all of his stuff. Uh, I'm on, I'm, I'm an admin on Wacom's Discord server, um, uh, Fuzzy Walrus Industries, the Fuzzy Walrus Industries is abbreviated, um, Shameless Self Promo. Yeah, no, no, no promo, no, no promo uh, meant. Uh, how do you know to, I got rat traps for, wait a second, this is my channel. Of course, promo, yeah, promo, Hawkeye007. Um, how do you know to get rat traps for claymores? I did, um, I did claymore research for Airsoft about 10 years ago. It's absolutely nothing new. <laughs> um, they don't bet fang, they don't bet fangs, uh, they don't beat fangs. Um, okay. I still prefer my, uh, my, what are they called? Um, uh, neodymium magnets. That's just me. I think we're pretty much done sanding this side. Let's try to work on the other side here. Maybe cut some of the flashing off. Uh, again, if any of you guys are new to watching the stream, welcome. If this is your first time around, thank you for stopping by. And if you or anyone you know wants to buy a blaster for $2,600, let me know because I want to sell a glass construct because I need money for Chaos Dogma. As much as I wish I was kidding, um, that is actually how much the blaster is worth if you add... Uh, uh, skilled labor times 145, which is how many hours I worked on it. Um, skilled labor should actually be over $20 an hour, but obviously I'm not going to charge that for something like this. Um, so minimum wage is $750. I said I think $1150, I think was the benchmark that I put in there. Um, so that times whatever that is, I think that was like 1600 
something and then the actual parts the cost of the materials is a thousand dollars that's assuming the crystal clear full set of uh, rapid strike parts and the back half crystal clear set of raven parts assuming all of those were four hundred dollars which in my opinion it should be more but obviously i'm going to be a little bit more conservative because the blaster is already freaking high um, unfortunately, that is the actual cost of the, of the, of the blaster itself, um, which, uh, I, I, I don't really like to, this, this sounds like super hippie, and like, ugh, I am one with, with everything, but I don't mean it like that, but, um, I tend to see it more of works of art rather than just, like, blasters, because if you wanted to get a performance blaster or something, you could do, um, well, I, w I was gonna say you could do better, but not really but um if if you if from an fps standpoint you could because it's definitely not the highest fps but it's not meant for high fps um because a lot of those things are banned in places anyway um you could definitely you could definitely get a performance mod for way cheaper than that which would perform the same or better um but you kind of it's it's kind of more of an art thing in my opinion so Definitely not for everyone, but I'm just kind of putting my feelers out there because I would like to eventually sell it. 2600 yeah. Um, probably on channel, probably on Glass Construct is for sale. Yes, it is. Uh, is there a video on Glass Construct? Yes, if you look up Glass, glass Construct on my thing, I have an overview of it. Um, the rat trap broke. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> on a nerf dart. Um, probably because you didn't have any... Did you just, like, snap it on the nerf dart? Because if so, those traps are so powerful. It's kind of like dry-firing a blaster. You generally want something in the way to slow that down. You don't want to just snap it onto itself, which a nerf dart isn't going to have any, um, any, you know, tension on it compared to the rat trap. My birthday is on the 19th, last maniacally. <laughs> One of the reasons I actually have um, it already, the listing already prepped on Etsy, like as a draft, but I haven't posted it because I know if, like, as soon as I post it, you know, people are going to be like, oh, look at this idiot, and he thinks he can sell this for that much, and I could make a much better blaster than that for that price, and blah, 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 blah and I don't feel like dealing with it. Um, which, again, you can totally make a blaster in theory, better than that for that cost, but that's my price for it, because that is my work, so. If it's not worth it to you, definitely understand. Definitely not for everyone, especially at that price point. But at the same time, I think it's kind of uh, stupid to tell someone that their labor isn't worth something. Because even, because there's always going to be those people that are like, I'll give you $300 for it. And $300, $350 for an FDL2 is way overpriced. And that's so stupid. And blah, blah, blah. And I'll give you $100 for it. And like legitimately meaning it's worth $100. When they don't realize that the cage itself is worth 100 bucks, They don't realize that the motors themselves are $50 just for the motors and they don't understand how labor works so it is going to be what it is but can't please everyone I'm back people I read that in Sykes voice welcome back Trico Ben you don't have to justify your price thank you I appreciate that Gavin um, hi all hi Gary what's up man <clears throat> I miss you. Gavin. <laughs> Gavin. We can all call him Gavin now. I got excited for a second because I zoned out and I was like, oh, I'm almost done with this. And then I realized I still have the hyperfire parts to do. Now I'm sad.
Just seeing what's up. I appreciate you stopping by. Always nice to see a familiar face. Metaphorically speaking, of course. Uh, actually, the most common thing people accidentally call me is Kevin. I guess I could see that. Hate when something like that happens. I don't get it. I'm still going to buy it no matter what. No matter the price, to be honest, I want crystal clear parts. Dr. Snickers Cage, XP 180s, and most importantly, some of Ben's work. <laughs> I appreciate that. <clears throat> I appreciate the support you guys give me. Verbally or otherwise. Especially when I, I meet someone nice in the community or something. Not, e not even like, you know, Ben's awesome or whatever, but like... Uh, meeting someone who's who's genuinely nice or got like inspiration from something I did or something like that It's always encouraging to to get those kind of things. So You know some you know, you can't always have a good day some days you have bad days It's like oh, why am I doing this? You know what I mean? And like as much as you enjoy something um, No matter what it is when it becomes work you're now like pressured to do better at it because Like that's your thing that makes money uh, when I decided to go back to school, that alleviated a lot of that pressure because I decided that I'm not going to be doing this full time forever. Um, so that's why I went back to school, and that alleviated a lot of the pressure. But right now, I don't have a job. This is still my job, um, so it's still there's still some pressure there to make some money doing this. But uh, definitely not as much as it was. Oh crap! I forgot to get rid of the. Uh, logo here. I just use the the edge of my file to scrape off the logos. These uh, short ones are sh are nub enough that I can just scrape my file over it. It's these thicker ones that if I tried to do that, it would just go uh, uh, and kind of stop right there because, you know, it's raised up too much. But these ones are fine. Make sure I'm using the right side of the file. Uh, I hate it when I how my face is the hyper demolisher that took me way longer to read than I should have uh, someone buys glass contract equals dogma fund that is exactly what's going to happen Trico <laughs> um, it's going to cost me about two grand to get dogma finished so or even started to the next step I fall in love with your hollow spectrum paint job and the paint job uh, that I currently painting my stripe I really like how that came out um, to be honest when I made that the reason why I made clear parts was for that build, because I actually built a Raven, or a Straven, excuse me, and I was going to make that mine, and then I realized halfway through the build that I had already made room for LEDs, and I was already going to do LEDs, and then where did the LEDs go? So I looked up some LEDs on, on um, Stravens, and there are some, but... There's no real place to put LEDs on a Straven. It's like, oh, crap. So it's like, well, I, I, I think I can cast these. I think I can do this. And that hasn't been done before. So cool. So that's what I ended up doing that for. Um, but as soon as I was done with it, I was like, you know what? I think I can do better than this. I don't, I don't, I'm not happy with this blaster. So uh, I put it up for sale and it sold in eight hours. And it actually sold to Drac, um, which was kind of cool. But, uh, because that's way before I was, um, featured in anything. And then Make Test Battle saw it, and they featured me in one of their things, and that's kind of when I took off, um, with YouTube and stuff. But, uh... Yeah, that's the one that started all. And then someone said later on the build that, hey, you should probably make the Raven parts clear, too, because it kind of is unbalanced. And I wasn't even thinking about that at the time, because that's, you know, I was just like, oh crap, where do I put LEDs at all? Um, but when he noted, when he said that, I was like, crap, I have to do that, because <laughs> I, I wouldn't be able to stand myself if I couldn't do that, so kind of evolved from there, but... <clears throat> Ugh, sand and talk, Ben, sand and talk. Um, let's see, where are we with these? Benja, what do you think of the new OFP cages, I think they're direct copies off of mine. <laughs> um, he, he, he was actually like, 6.5 is, is the correct angle, right? And I actually advised him to go down to 5 degrees, um, because I think 5 degrees is more optimal, but 
Uh, it's just so much work for me personally to make those adjustments because he has like much better pro uh, programs than I do. That's much easier to work with uh, and probably also better at it. <laughs> um, so it's easier for him to make the changes than for me to go and change something. Um, so I told him that five degrees might be a little more optimized. And my theory is, I told him it's just a theory, but I I'm thinking the more, the faster your dart's going, the less of an angle you want. So you might want to like pop it down in 0.5 increments. Um, but that's that's just, was just off the top of my head, so. But needless to say, they're direct copies of mine, except you can get them in the Morpheus guide, so you don't have to cut the brass. Um, I want a glass construct, but I'm $2,500 poor. <laughs> uh, what color was the blue, if you remember? What color was the blue? What color was the blue? The blue was Krylon. Um, give me one sec. Um, I don't believe it was this exact, exact color. It might be. It might actually be, but it's Iris. I don't know if you can read that. But it was just Krylon. I don't actually like Krylon anymore. Um, I like Rustolium better, but it kind of depends on your region and what your humidity is and what your temperatures are and stuff like that. But I know people that love Krylon that hate Rustolium, and I know vice versa, and I know people that hate all of them. So just depends on where you're from and what you like to do. And then I can't remember the teal. I know the teal was Rustolium, but. Um, Oh, wait, I think I actually have the teal. Man, I can't believe how old these paints are. Lagoon. It's just the rust -oleum. Okay, let's see. Uh, whatever happened to casting the Raven Battery Door? Not necessary. I didn't find it necessary enough. Um, and, and I think the uh, integrating a Zeus is much more of an elegant solution anyway, so... Uh, aren't Snake's Cages 8 degrees of Cant? Nope, it's closer to 5. I don't know the exact one because I don't have a digital... What's it called? But it's more... It's, it's definitely less than 6.5. Thanks, Ben. No problem. I was thinking of doing... Quasar blue instead of the blue you used. I don't know. Hey, whatever works, man. Just as needed. Okay, I think we're done with the sanding of the strifes for now. The strife halves? The strifes halves? The strife halves? The strife halves. There we go. Um, done with that for now, so let's move on to sanding this. And... This is still usable, but I don't feel like spending an eternity sanding. So let's go ahead and cut off a new piece here. Tear off, whatever. I'll let you know how it turns out. I've gotten my base coat of white down. Sweet. Yeah, send me some pictures. remind me who you are I'd be like yo on the stream we're talking about this it's me oh my god this blaster is so much easier to sand it's it's like all these nooks and crannies right along here that really suck on the strife it's the worst part of the strife to sand might do a straven but cannibalize the strife instead of the a Zeus Cannibalize Strife instead of a Zeus. Well, normal Stravens don't use Zeus. I'm about to start uh, taping off for Endstrike 
He l what? Stripe. Any tips? Um. Oh, elite esque strife. A stripe. Uh, any tips? Um, not really. I don't like frog tape. First of all, <laughs> I'd like to get that out. I use M3 or 3M, whatever it's called. The uh, the blue painters tape or whatever. Um, generally, the more expensive ones work better, which kind of sounds stupid, but it's true. Uh, I'm not the best at painting, to be quite honest. Um, I just happen to like the more simple paint jobs. Uh, like the black and gray, or excuse me, the white and gray for Ethereal Fortress. Some might consider that a boring paint job, but I actually prefer the boring, the boring, plain, nice, clean paint jobs. Uh, that's kind of reflected in most of my builds. Glass Construct is very clean, very um, low detail, but I I prefer that kind of of stuff. Uh, not low detail, but like simplistic. Is that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, so that kind of coincides. And I don't really have a reason to push my talents any further in that direction. So I'm not the best at it, but, um, yeah, just take your time with the painting. Make sure right before, like, put it down if you wait any amount of time right before you paint. Just go back over all of your edges and make sure everything is pushed down again. And then when you go to paint, put on a very, very light coat first. That's going to seal those edges. Wait for it to dry a little bit you know, wait for it to flash over maybe seven minutes and then start putting over your heavier quotes. I use that term very loosely. Um, but that will kind of seal it in a little bit better. Do you have any good, did, did you have a good day, Ben? Uh, yeah, it was, it was all right. Um, I might have missed some homework and that I'm not sure if is, uh, towards my permanent grade. Oops. But, uh, yeah, I, I had an okay day. In the far future, though, you... Uh, my last comment. What? Um, did you see that airsoft company that is trying to make Nerf blasters? Uh, I saw Jangular's video on it, but that's as far as I got. I didn't feel like clicking on the video or something to figure it out. Um, it was... I was kind of curious, but... <laughs> it was like, God help us, everyone. Are they actual nerf darts, or, like, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, no problem. Happy to help. Uh, I did something simple on my HD, and I liked it better. Sweet. Oh, you're talking about the paint job? Yeah. Uh, you seem a little happier today. I'm no kidding. I'm always happy to see you guys. Insert corny line here. Paint job that is, yeah. Uh, oops, missed that up. Uh, for the future, I might do Straven, but cannibalize the Strife instead of the Raven and add a zoo stock. Oh, so you mean cut up the Strife instead of, like uh, Mr. Nathan did. Okay, yeah, I get you now. I like... Personally, I like keeping the, the strife intact, but it does, like, I guess technically look a little bit cleaner. I just think it looks a little odd. Um, I think it's kind of a preference thing. I think it looks good either way. Hey, Jay. Uh, yeah, I use the Nerf Dart and Mags. And we're happy to see you. Aww. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? If you've ever uh, sanded a blaster, just a fun fact, and you see where it's like not sanded because it's like in a little bit, if you've ever wondered why that happens, um, they the way they design these shells is for injection molding, obviously. And you think that they make all of these thin parts because it's cheaper, which they do because it is cheaper, less material. But they actually don't have a choice. There's a certain thickness at a certain point. Um, ABS will start to shrink. Everything on it shrinks. But at, in a certain thickness, it gets noticeable. And so they try to avoid those kind of thicknesses. Um, if you ever look, look on worker stuff, they don't have professional... Uh, they're probably professional, but they don't have... 
I, ha I really hate to say that, but they don't have great um, engineers in that regard. Like, um, like, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like property, like mechanical property engineers. And you can tell because they have super thick plastic and you're thinking, oh, that's a much higher quality thing. When in fact, it's just thicker plastic. So it feels more solid. But if you look on here after you've sanded, where those go in actually corresponds with the thicker parts up here and the lines back there. And you can actually see that those thicker parts have shrunk in more than the rest of the plastic around it. And so that's kind of a, uh, a result of the injection molding is after that plastic cools because it's being cooled so rapidly, you can pop one of these things out in 10 seconds if you really need to, uh, because they have liquid cooling inside of the, the metal mold so it kind of shrinks and contracts and it shrinks and contracts even more the thicker the part is hello peeps what's up neil um oh uh, yeah so between mr nathan did alice's comments i don't know uh always watched your streams sometimes i don't want to talk i just want to watch your work so may not always be audible but i'm always enjoying your content thank you i appreciate that man and now that i know you're watching i shall try to remember okay Hello, Neo, my old friend. You've come to talk with us again. This blaster softly sanding. I, I have nothing after that. That's that's all I had. Sorry. I bring my files to the cold and damned. That was lame. In the vision that was planted in my brain still remains and echo in the well of silence. Say for all you do not know, silence like a cancer grows, and in the halo of the street lamp. I don't remember the lyrics. <laughs> I was lucky to get that far. Um, get more storage. Who's getting more storage? Um, found a crimson red Vulcan and a yellow Vulcan. Is ten bucks. Right. As much as it sounds like I'm being suicidal, I would probably not pick up the red Vulcan. <laughs> I know that's terrible, but um. Who's going to buy it? It's such a large blaster. The shipping alone's not worth it. Can I buy pink rapid strike parts for Bobo, please? I'm, you can buy whatever you want. Uh, and get more storage. What is that referencing? Am I just stupid? Hawkeye Remix 2018. Yeah. Every breath you take, every step... You tick. I'll be watching your streams. Every step I take. No, you take. You're right. Every step you take. Every move you make. I'll be watching you. Something, something, mutter along, mutter along. I'll be watching you. Ouch. <clears throat> strange, strange. I don't know why I read that as storage. How the hell did I get storage out of that? And getting more strange. It's because I'm tired. Um, I have, like, flashes of, of insanity when I get tired. 
If I'm up for more than like 24 hours or something and I get on Xbox, I will lose my mind. Ask any of my friends on Xbox. <laughs> um, did you? Did anyone gamble on the Super Bowl? Uh, nope. Didn't care enough. Yeah, you got the reference. Uh, hi, welcome to Hawkeye Stream, where we stand, where we sand and try to sing. Yeah. How the hell did I get storage out of Strange? I need to take a drink of water. I'm already dehydrated because I'm not drinking enough water lately. And uh, me talking for uh, an hour and one minute straight is not helping. I feel like I'm a jewel of gold and tail. In the vision that was planted in my brain. Still remains and echoing well of silence. Save for all you do not know. Top secret. Uh, what's your Xbox tag? Two guesses. Uh, Xbox. Uh, Hawkeye is your brain fried. So just join the dark side. We have cookies and fried brains. <laughs> Is that the dark side of zombies? Top secret, Hawkeye mines a Neo Seeker from the start to stream, I think, thing. Uh, hey, Hawkeye, what do you think an HPA uh, sharp fire with a mag like what? Um, Gartea built. I'm not sure what, I'm not sure what he built, but uh, sounds interesting. I mean, HPA, it's pretty much all pistols are the same if you, like, you know, just add a revolving mech or something. Um, I made a hyper, I made a hyper strife integration. You gave me the idea. I love how the two blend together. Thanks, man. Your work is awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that, Jeremy. If you have pictures, I'd love to see them if you can get a hold of me somewhere. Etsy would probably be the easiest. Uh, I need to start putting Walcom's Discord link in my description. I'm an admin on there. You can also get me in there. Uh, well, it's one W, but yes. Uh, oh my god, I have an HVZ shirt idea. Uh, going to shop with the wife later. Later, man. Thanks for stopping by. Um, but I'm... Can I build MagFed? Sure, fire, but I'm making Hyperfire one. Sharp fire. I remember what that is now. Never mind. Sorry. I'm thinking something else. Um, yeah. Sorry. I'm thinking something else. What kind of what kind of HPA are you using? Can't. We 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 can't. The other Hawkeye shirt. Where where can. Where can we wear, I think you mean? Where can we get the other Hawkeye shirt? Did I, do I not have it in the description? Um, that's what I meant. Oops. I need new Raven. I'm s I screwed up. Uh, what have you done, Neo? What did you do? I hear. Hold on. Okay, uh, hold on one second. Let me see if I can find that link.
Okay. Um, I don't know how quickly it updates, but there is now a second link in the description. It says, T-shirts, exclamation point. The first one is the standard live uh, Hawkeyes 007 live T-shirt. And then the... Excuse me. I, it's, the first one is the Hawkeyes 007 live T-shirt. And then the second link is the other T-shirt that you guys wanted. Um, so, yes. Hi, Austin. Hello, Austin. What's up? Uh, sup? Uh, Jeopardy music. Do do do. I cut too much of the rainstock off. I'm pretty sad now. If it makes you feel better, uh, Jalen, one of my friends of the local war, also destroyed his blaster. Uh, his raven. Utterly annihilated it. Annihilated it. What's worse is he annihilated one half the shell, and then the other half the shell was useless. Uh, I sent a picture through Etsy. I didn't know that. It's red zombie hydro dip. Sounds strange, but I put a clear Chris Vector kit on it and chopped it off a little bit. Off. Looks good. Yeah, that sounds cool. Yeah, you can send uh, pictures through Etsy. <clears throat> I see the link. Cool. Uh, I found a listing for all of that for $30 ish shipping. Uh, I'm building a closed bolt system with a 32 mil tank for half like darts. Only use a system very small to Liam's Excalibur pistol. Uh, just with a higher volume. Are you using the uh, cylinder? Wait. Are you using a cylinder? Are you? Is it semi-auto or is it pump? Um, not for my plans, Trigo. Uh, we're needy, Ben. Yes, I, I'm trying desperately to pay enough attention to you guys. Uh, the sky's up, Ben. I'm coming down July for a war. Sweet. Uh, remind me closer to July so that I make sure that I go. I should be there. I, I, I've i gone to, I think, all of them except for one for the last year. So I uh, should be there, but just let me know to make sure uh, closer to the actual event. Uh, scroll up. I can't. I'm not going to scroll up. It's that's way too much work. Uh, or at least I'm trying to. Austin, Austin, yeah. Uh, you are my kind of person. What were your plans, Neo? Yes, it's semi-auto, but I use a closed bolt system. Uh, a co closed bolt semi-auto system, which means that the breach is closed. When yeah, I, I know what that means. I just didn't know you were using. Uh, if you're using semi or whatever. Dogma's open breach semi. There really is no like better way or anything close breach or open breach. It's kind of a preference thing because like you have pros and cons of, of both of them. Just kind of a preference thing. Uh, will we ever see more war footage? I didn't get a chance to record any war footage from this month's war. Um, because I was not having a good day. And, um, the last thing I needed was for one of my videos to screw up. And then I kind of would have lost it. Uh, so I purposely didn't record any footage. Now that I'm thinking back on it, I really should have made at least like a, um... Uh, like a loadout video or something, but I was just, I completely shut off all of my inclination for videos that day, so I do apologize. <clears throat> uh, could I use grandparents as an excuse to go to Texas? Jenna's information, uh, the person who knows nothing about HVA, such as, such as what, what do you, what, what? Not paying attention to sanding at all. 
way too invested in what you guys are saying. Did you do that crazy green semi-auto HPA vagabond thing? No. I'm not sure I know what that is. Oh, open bolt versus closed bolt. Um, there's more to it than what I'm going to explain, but basically open bolt. When you pull the trigger, it's going to close the bolt and then hit the firing mechanism. So you have a slight delay when you pull the trigger to the time the dart actually comes out. It's so small, that's not a big deal to me. Uh, one of the pros is that you can just take out the magazine whenever you want. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, closed bolts, you have to hold the trigger in order to open the, uh, pull out the magazine, or at least do it properly. Uh, I'm sure you could rip it out, but I wouldn't want to do that. Um, but in, 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 but the plus on that is you pull the trigger, it's going to fire exactly when you do that. And then it will load the next one. Um, there's more to it than that, but that's the basic of it. <coughs> load up would be cool. Um... Whatever, I agree with Trico. Ben, make an order later for radioactive green stripe parts. Uh, thank you, Neil. Hey, welcome. What's up? Are you shoving a strife into a hyperfire again? Yes, I am. That I am. This one's themed this time. It's uh, those of whom we shall not speak of themed. If somebody wants to um, make a guess to tell Walcom what theme it is in the, in, in the comments. Um, I will neither confirm, confirm nor deny whether that is accurate or not. But I'm sure someone like Gavin or Trico or someone can tell Walcom, uh, in theory, what it's about. Uh, is Kaz Tagma open or closed breach? I assume open. Yeah, it's an open breach. Yeah, um, I cannot confirm nor deny that, and I cannot confirm nor deny the company that runs that allegedly um, does not like it when you use their name for things that are making profit, so I cannot confirm nor deny whether that is accurate or not. That is all speculation, and I choose not to comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Or not. Whatever. It's alleged. Uh, without a darts, I mean, wouldn't need a three to wear out eventually. Yeah. Uh, super nerfing. I think it's foam system or firing system? Uh, f no, it's foam blasting system. Uh, super nerfing foam blasting system. That's what the acronym is. I made like a logo or whatever in in a certain style that I'm not going to mention. <laughs> How are you? Welcome. There's just enough room for my build. There's an open breach system. There's just not enough room in my build for an open breach system in my shell. Do you prefer closed breach or open breach? <clears throat> I'm compacting the hell out of Chaos Dogma because all of the uh, mechanics are like in this kind of location. Um, I'm exchanging size for complexity because the actual mechanicals, mechanical properties to actually fabricate them are rather complicated. Uh, it'd be much easier if I took the cylinder, flipped it around, and instead of spring extended, it would be spring retracted. That'd be much easier to close the bolt, but it would kind of ruin the aesthetic in the front, like, a lot. So I... I'm exchanging it for a more complicated mechanical system. Uh, hopefully I can pull it off. So, uh, your subtle Ben. <laughs> Thanks. I'm um, doing well. Have a thing. Ooh, what kind of thing? Uh, crap, I messed up. Now I'm sad. Uh, what might that thing be? Yeah, what is that thing? Tell us, welcome. You can't just tease us. Pure pressure. Pure pressure. Hashtag pressure the walrus. Let's get it trending.
God, what are the, what's the inside of this? Holy crap. I might need to go back over the, with the Dremel with that. Oh my God. Look at all that crap I left in there. What is this? Look at that. What is that? I'm gonna have to go back with the Dremel. I'm not gonna be happy with that at all. Uh, it's a thing that goes boom, question mark. But you've already seen it. I have. So nobody cares. Oh, I want to know. I want to know. Uh, have you seen the breach in Taruk's um, Prometheus? Because it goes into so much depth. No, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. I've seen the blaster, but I haven't like read up on it or anything. I don't know anything about it other than um, like the basics. Um. Okay, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to pull out my Dremel. I'm gonna put on my mask so I'm not dying. Okay. Uh, send you a picture on Etsy. I'll go ahead and check that out later, Jeremy. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um. Okay, Dremel incoming. So if you guys have headphones on and you're listening to it a little bit loud, you might want to turn down your volume just a little bit. Just so you're not going absolutely deaf. It shouldn't be that bad, but just to just kind of warn you guys, don't mess up your pants. Here we go. That's a little bit better. <clears throat> I I just died in your arms tonight. Died in your arms tonight. I don't know the lyrics on that one as much as I should. Uh, I've heard. <laughs> Electromagnet cylinder that creates tank, uh, then fires it. Electromag, uh, electro, uh, electromechanical cylinder that creates fire. Things, uh, what Liam, Bloody Katana, and Death Blossom. Yeah, I don't know enough about that, but you should definitely read up on Truk's, uh, Prometheus Breach if you could solve problem on cast dogma. Well, I'm way too far into designing this thing to turn around now, but... flywheel setup would you recommend for the demolisher? No idea. Don't mod demolishers, uh, ever. I wouldn't know enough about it. I think you, I think you can deal with the Dremel noise and the headphones, Jerry. I'm okay. I swear, I'm sniff. <laughs> I worked with a guy that said you must, uh, must have been some kind of cheese, and as stupid as it was, I've been smacked my head for, uh, smacked my head for, okay. Yeah, totally. Yeah, welcome. It feels deep, personal level. <laughs> Sanding this much on the inside is definitely not necessary, but it's going to drive me nuts. So. Two references, yay. 
Uh, I feel a deep person. Ever bless her needs snack storage. Yeah. I drive Heather nuts, my fiance. I drive her nuts. Um, she knows me too well now, but I, every now and again I'll go, hey. She'll go, hey. I'll say, hey, again. And then she'll stop talking to me, but um, the reference is, hey, hey, you, you. I don't like your girlfriend. Not, that's all as far as I'll take it, but it's all stuck in people's heads. <laughs> hey, hey, Ryan, what's up? Um, do you know anything about... Cartier's breech full bre uh, barrel f length formula as air blast. No, I do not. Um, did he actually make a formula? I would like to know that if you have that. A link to that. Uh, you can't post a link here, but if you could like message me on my Etsy store link in the description. Um, not trying to advertise anything, but like it's like a weird thing with links on here. Um. I wish I could throw this system into my TV. <laughs> Erasure number of barrel length number of atmospheres multiplied by the volume multiplied by 1.7 and then gives you the volume of your barrel. The ratio of your air chamber pressure barrel length is the number of atmospheres multiplied by 1.7 and it gives you barrel length. Uh, divide your barrel volume across the yeah, pi radius, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to look more into that. Uh, so I hear your sister it sounds like she's choking. Are you, are you, are you okay? Harry stops out of room, breaks him out. Is that a reference to Annie? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? Recording something for Snapchat. Uh, all right, Boom's battery is charged. And I have a recording. I'll send it to you first. Thank you. Um, I'll send it to you. I don't know where I got the word first from. Thank you. Uh, atmosphere means atmospheric virus. Yeah. Um, you have fun. Yes, I will. I love you. Welcome. Um, hey, hey, you, you. I want to be your girlfriend. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I think if you have a smart TV, you should go to YouTube in there. Love that song. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I think we're done with... Oh, that was someone messaging me. I think that was you. Um, I think we're done with... Thank you for that. I appreciate that. I love you all. Come think of me when you dream. Um, we're done with sending for now. Until we get all the parts connected. Oh, I need a sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me? That means you should be wearing a mask, Hawkeye. Shut up. Um. Okay. I hate myself. I really should wash these. It should be fine. Because either way, the epoxy will kind of melt through it anyway, so. Dust it down here. Uh, no reference to sister dying was referenced to recording. Oh, okay. Uh, wash them. Ugh. Don't tell me that. I hate you. I'll be right back. If anybody comes to me and is like, why is there an empty stream here? Just be like, Hawkeye's watching his blaster. Give him a second. I'll be right back.
That was like 20% more work than I wanted to do. <clears throat> Let's vacuum up here. To not completely undo everything I just did. Let's see, where are we? North. Uh, I hate me too. <laughs> um, put it back a sign thing. You put, put up, put up the B. Dude, you guys need to check your freaking spelling. Sign your man. No. Uh, B. Ben have Ben. Ben. Ben has been mean to me to st the stream. I almost feel special. <laughs> I w I'm only mean when I care. Uh, hold on, I just took up my glasses to clean them. I can't see a thing. Um. Hey, Armas, how's it going? Pretty swell. Pretty swell. Making a chrono speed loader. I haven't put anything in my. I just took out the locks in mine. Not sure how I feel about it because it like kind of like doesn't want to stay f all the way forward. Um. I mean, it stays forward, but it just, you can tell it wants to go back. Hawkeye, okay, have you ever watched VGH? Uh, what is that? Uh, ooh, sounds nice. Hawkeye, okay, I sent you the barrel like formulas under the name. I was Hamilton. Okay, thank you. I will check that later. I appreciate that. I'm going to need to turn down my phone here because um, my local Nerf group won't shut the hell up. I'll just mute them. There we go. Uh, my mom also calls me special. So let's get, to get these dried up a little bit. Uh, Neo, were your plans to do Raven? What are your plans to do with the Raven? What are your plans, Neo? Uh, for the record, you should be using compressed air for this. Um, it's not as important right now because I'm not painting it. If you're painting it, you need to use air. Or just let it dry for, you know, 24 hours or something. Um, because any little bit of water in there is going to obviously prevent water or prevent paint from sticking. Not as important for this because I can see enough to get it out. Uh, because you screwed up the raven. Uh, whoa, I missed something. Uh, why? Uh, video game high school. It's really good. I'm watching it. If it's time. I love the series. Okay. Uh, you're welcome. Because you screwed up the raven. Just wondering. <laughs> it's it's uh, modern talk for... I don't think I trust you anymore. <laughs> um... Uh, I know it's a lot of random math things related to nerf. Like, that's... So even if you need something, just shoot me a message. Yeah, yeah, I will. Because <coughs> I was wondering if anyone had ever come up with a form formula or something like that, and I briefly looked it up a couple years ago, but um, didn't find anything, obviously. Uh, well, if you want to see a real... Messed up Raven. Uh, yeah, if you want to see a real messed up Raven, you should check out Ryan's channel, R Mods. <laughs> Don't know what the hell he's doing with that blaster, but <laughs> I'm sure it will come out good. <laughs> Raven has never been defiled in that way before. I only cut it into six pieces. Stupid freaking song in my head.
<clears throat> oh wait, is that the bull prop strike one? Yeah, that one. I've I've kind of wanted to try like the whole like mutilate a blaster kind of thing like beyond recognition, um, which I guess that depends on your definition of beyond recognition because some people can't, you know, identify anything. Um, but I like I've kind of wanted to try like a Mr. Nathan thing where you like chop it up into little pieces and like get it going, but like I I've kind of made a conscious decision that like that really isn't my style, and no matter how much I want to do that. It's just kind of not my thing, and I don't really... I wouldn't say I don't like it, because I like what other people have done with it, but it's just not my style. Um, so I've, I've kind of made the conscious decision of staying away from, like, super hyper chopped up things, where it's, like, completely unrecognizable. There's, there's kind of a fun thing of, like, trying to fit the puzzle together with bigger pieces, because it's, in my opinion, harder. To fit larger pieces, if you chop it down into super, super, super tiny pieces, then you're basically just putting it together the way you want it to. You're sculpting something. Um, but if you have big chunks like this, it's like, how the hell am I going to fit this on here? You know what I mean? So, uh, it's, it's just a different perspective. Nothing right or wrong or better or worse about it. Just different. Um, Armand's... Yeah, that one's kind of... Okay, if you're going to talk about Raven Killer's Hawkeye, killed a new Elite Raven for Glass Construct. Yeah, uh, new unbox Elite Raven. I cut up for Glass Construct. Never fired a single dart, never had any batteries in it. It was absolutely brand new, flawless new unbox. And I killed it. Ha ha ha. Some flashing here, I'm just getting rid of real quick. <laughs> you know, don't start with this. We got past this. <laughs> I'm jelly. Mine was only new in box Raven Fire. Yeah, I got I got that new in box Raven on Amazon for twenty five dollars. But you guys are jealous, jealous, jealous. <laughs> Whoops, sorry, that was loud. Didn't mean to do that. If it makes you feel better. It startled me. Uh, never got to feel the love for double, for love of double and batteries. Oh, well, we have glass construct. No, you really need to spell your, everything about that was wrong. I know exactly what you meant, but everything about that was wrong. I'm jogging. Uh, don't ask me how many noon box green fires I have. Is it more than five? I have, uh, three. Uh, no, no, I have two. One of them is open. I'm sure as heck, I sure as heck never got past it. <laughs> um... Uh, you don't want to know the amount of money I spend on new books. Raven Fire. I got mine for $23 a piece. Bam. Just during the Black Friday sale. Everybody was like, oh, they went on sale for like $30 or whatever. That's such a good deal. And I was like, oh, I'm still going to wait. It's not really... Like, that's still a new Raven. That's how much Ravens costed back then. And so, you know, inflation and stuff, but still. And they went down again the next day for thirty uh, for uh, $23. Uh, $23. So I was like... Done. Five. Oh well, that's pathetic. Uh, well, I can't sp speak here. Kind of cross off for reasons. <clears throat> I 
That's that's not a good sign. How like ten? You don't have ten. Surely not. Okay. I think that's dry enough. Now it comes to the point of the time, the day, the point of the day, the time that we line things up. The Raven Fire, excuse me, the um, Hyper Fire um, Strife integration tends to line itself up pretty well and tends to kind of auto correct itself, which is nice, just the way it's kind of made. But we will still take our time to line this up properly. Uh, Hawkeye, done. you have 25 Hawkeye done the same thing to a crossbow, uh, your point being. You have 25? Why the hell did you get 25? <laughs> Hopefully one day that's worth a crap ton. Damn, boy. What math does that work out to? Good lord. Good God, man. That fits together nice and tight. Oh, that's so beautiful. The handles on this, like, were meant for each other. Like, it just fits inside of that, just like that. I have a little raven issue. <laughs> I got them for 25 apiece. Good. That's good. At least you didn't overpay. Um, Hawkeye, do you buy sandpaper one th uh, thousands of sheets at a time? Thousands of sheets at a time like I do? Teardrop to um, I, <laughs> I buy the uh, 25 the 25 boxes. Um, I've tried the the super like the the plastic back stuff before that's like super expensive it's okay but it still gets it's it lasts a little longer but this is it's it's so flexible that you bend it in half and then you let go and it it doesn't hold that seam so it's kind of frustrating to sand with so i'll just stick with the normal stuff um did you get them at 23 dollar price point i hope so i did yeah uh still worth it a little my Booty, yeah. Uh, what do you mean? Casually throw $625 plus tax at Ravens, yeah. Uh, Armand, I'm gonna pay. I'm not gonna pay anything more than $30 for noon, yeah. Yeah, exactly. He's got the right idea. Live in DE, so no sales tax. You suck. Okay, so how we're going to do this is we're going to line up these shells as best as we can, and then we're going to hot glue one of the sides into place, and then use that as a frame of reference to make sure everything else is aligned. Um. Hold on, I kind of missed some of the sanding here, and I kind of want to fix that. I'm going to keep as much dust off of this as I can, because I'm not washing it again. <laughs> it's just a little bit up top here. Not a big issue. I buy like 40 of those boxes of big sheets at a time. Good grief. I do suck indeed. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and line. We've already had this been warming up the entire time, which is probably not safe or good, but uh, that's what we did. <laughs> it is burning my hand. And again, this kind of lines itself up so I am um, I can be a little more lenient than this and I know it's going to line up because I spent 
I, w I was planning on spending several hours lining up Ethereal Fortress, but it ended up just lining itself up automatically because of the handle there. Um, so between the handle being flat, that seam, and then the seam down here by the magwell that you can't throw right there, um, it kind of ends up lining itself up. So. So I can buy things in bulk without sales tax. That would be 6.95. Yeah. And then um, the line where my thumb is, my left thumb. Um, not this one. The other one, underneath there, where it comes into contact with the strife uh, attachment point and the hyperfire, it keeps it aligned this ways. So I don't have to worry about that at all. <coughs> it's another two or three year Raven Fire new inbox I can buy compared to you with your pathetic sales tax. <laughs> you pathetic sales tax peasants. Whatever happened to that angle for grip you prototyped posted on the uh, hammer for grip. Um, never really did anything with it. Didn't see a point. Didn't like it enough. Realistically, I would never grab there anyway. Uh, it's comfortable. It's the most com com most comfortable. Um, but realistically, in an actual game, I keep my hand on the magazine because I keep a second magazine in my offhand, and I swap them out like that. So realistically, I would never use it anyway. taking forever to dry using the uh, the aluminum of the handle as a heat sink peasants is correct I look down on all you sales tax peasants okay some of this just a little bit. Not much, but I just want to remove it. All right, there, come on. There we go. That's a little better. All right, let's glue that. One thing that I've had to tell Nick, um, Nick Marvin, is that he's spent like literally 30, 30 hours aligning one blaster before, because he's like super obsessed with it. The only problem is, um, what I told him is, you can't actually align a blaster perfectly, not the way he wants to, because the blasters themselves are warped. Um, the the shells themselves, there's only within so many tolerance. You can't say that your blaster is lined up within a thousandth of a millimeter or a thousandth of an inch if the blasters themselves are built within uh, ten thousandths. It's not physically possible for you to align it that well. Uh, can I, uh, no, no begging, even as a joke. Um, I finally wore it. worry about affording parts I need for a senior project. <coughs> Um, also Hawkeye, you seen my profile pic, I have the same patch coming soon, cool. Patches are always nice.
I love Nick, but I think that stops him from finishing, like, most of his blasters. Yeah, unfortunately. Great guy, salt of the earth. But the, but the dude has problems with lining blasters. <laughs> Um, Hawkeye, would you ever consider designing and casting your own extended magazine release for this track? Because I want matching clear parts. Um, I've never really liked extended magazine releases myself, so I've never bothered to design one. But, I mean, like, what did you have in mind? Like, that kind of sounds like a stupid question, but, like... You know, obviously, a standard mag release, like, what kind of variances are there? But, I mean, you know, there's, like, textured ones, like the worker one. There's smooth ones, like the artifact one. Well, what what do you guys prefer? Because, because I can't go off what I like because I don't like extended mag releases. So, um, as a general consensus, conses consensus uh, what do you guys like? Do you like straight ones? Do you like curved ones? Um, if you like curved ones, which way do you like it curved? Uh, do you like it textured? Do you like it smooth? What? This whole conversation could be taken out of context, context, but I'll trust that you guys are more mature than that. Uh, patch cover up my bag. BRB, MTB made a vid. Uh, you, I know what you mean. Personally enjoy DRS mag release the most. Kind of like a Z shape or S shape. Okay, let's make sure that everything is lining up. Foam blasts ones are nice, but if I can combine the worker one with the foam blast one, I would. Do you like the length of the foam blast one, or um, like which way would that go? Try DRS Worker, Gavin Fuzzy Artifact, Foam Blast, and J3D, but I prefer DRS. Interesting. Trying to make sure that this is aligned. I know it's kind of boring for you guys, but. Short mag release of out of dart that out of dart cells. Same tree of a goofy. Goofy is the way to go. Where's my? Oh, there it is. Looking for my bigger block of aluminum. For DRS for its length and for its versatility, because you can drop your mag multiple ways. Options are nice. I see what you mean. 
Preach. Um, Rapid Strike plus Sweet Revenge. Sweet Revenge is dope. Again, sorry, I know this is boring. Almost done. Just making sure. Okay. I think we're all lined up here. Hyperfire makes it really, really easy to... The Hyperfire Strife makes it really, really easy to line everything up, so... this um i missed some stuff would you ever consider making a uh consider casting alpha trooper parts in the future uh not really there are just so many better springers out there i used to like the alpha trooper the most but i don't know uh hey ben will you consider fluorescent blaster aka one looks like sweet under uv that would involve me doing the whole thing so probably not uh, drop cylinder, drop cylinder, Mr. Nix and stuff. Okay, good. It's sonic fire orange about it. Scary in my opinion. Uh, please make EAT parts. Uh, drop blaster. Uh, glue breaks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hammer shot. A strong arm. And why? Please. Kit if sore. Sil civil. Um, uh, so, uh, personally, I like the hammer shot just because it's one-handed. Um, but I don't use a secondary anyway. So, uh, one of my, and I know it's not for everyone, but one of my philosophies is if the only reason why you would need a secondary is because your blaster breaks, your main blaster breaks, or it jams beyond what you can do to fix it within a certain amount of time. Um, because you should never be caught in the middle of a reload or something because if you have a magazine in this hand and you're holding your magazine right here from your blaster you should be able to go boop boop and swap out your magazine literally that fast uh, especially if you have a flared magwell or something it should be super tight super fast super easy um, so like, the only reason why you need to pull it out is because you have a jam or it breaks or something else. Um, and if that happens, then you should have done a better job modding your primary blaster. And I know that sounds kind of harsh. Uh, I'm not speaking to anyone but myself. Um, I'm kind of harsh in my own way on myself. Um, so please don't take that as like, Hawk, I said that secondaries are useless. Secondaries are useless to me. Um, because by the time I need to pull one out, I should already be dead because I failed at modding my blaster. Uh, just my personal thing. But I, I like the hammer shot for the one handedness of it. <clears throat> What's your favorite Springer, excluding Homemade oh, Mouse and the Caliburn? Um, see, I, I, don't, I don't really like when people say, except for this blaster, because um, usually it's for a reason. Uh, I like the Caliburn design. It has some flaws that can be worked out, but uh, I do like the Caliburn design. I'm kind of sick of it because uh, everybody posts it on on uh, our nerf and everybody upvotes it, and 
it's kind of getting spammed and no offense to Captain Slug, but he doesn't need to post every single variation of his thing and post it every other day and get upvoted a thousand times. I think there should be its own subreddit for that, but whatever. Um, but it would probably be the Calibran. I don't really have one besides that, maybe the Alpha Trooper. But again, I don't even t t uh, touch anywhere near that. So uh, what Springer would you use in more as a primary? If I had to use a Springer, it would probably be either a Pump Grip Retaliator or a... It would probably be a Pump Grip Retaliator just because there are so many uh, parts for it. I would like it to be the Alpha Trooper, but it's not a flexible enough platform, so people don't make third-party parts for it. Um, and I would want mine to be way more flexible than that. Um, if I invested enough time and money into it, maybe a long shot, but I would have to invest a lot of time and a lot of money into it. And I just don't, don't feel like doing that right now. Um, especially I would want I really want one of those metal rails that monkey mods has for the long shot, but I'm not, I, I can't afford $65 plus shipping right now. Um, I really like one, but all fun a crossbow, but I don't really want to chop it up. Um, Romain's solo movie. What solo movie? What? Uh, hey, hi, okay. What's up? Hello. What's going on, man? Thanks for stopping by. Long shot is the best way to go, in my opinion. Um, the platform is one of the most flexible, and you can get the most performance out of it in theory. But it's also the most work. Um, and from someone who doesn't really find all that. Um, worth the investment when you could build a Caliburn and have a much better platform than a long shot. That's hard to say. So you can, yeah, uh, f I mean, it's still technically a stock blaster, so like it fits a different category or whatever. Um, long shot, I'm not degrading the long shot. The long shot's definitely a great platform, but um, eh. uh, how's school going so far? Lots of math. Uh, it's, it's pretty fun though. Um, We'll see how it goes. Um, I think I'm the kind of person that will spend uh, the money on the quality. Usually you go for a long shot over EXP. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, is that all I really need to? I had to kind of tack this in place to kind of keep that together the way I wanted it to. Um, so I'm going to have a hard time keeping this the way I want it to. Well, no blaster is perfect. I'm just saying it has more potential uh, with like the size of the plunder tube. It's just a physical limitation. Um, so what I think I'm just going to do is kind of separate this a little bit. Get some epoxy in there. Get some on here and on the inside of here. Stick it back together. Um, and then kind of take it from there. Um, because I want to get some inside of this crevice because there's a lot of contact shell and shell here. So I want to be able to take the shells completely apart before I epoxy them and then put them together. Um, so I'm probably only going to do one side of the shell for right now. I wouldn't trust Explorer. Their their um, quality and stuff has gone down quite a bit from what they used to be, um, and like don't get me don't get me wrong, it's still some of the most high quality stuff that you can get in Nerf. But with how much they charge for everything, um, I expect perfection. I expect one hundred percent perfection. Uh, do you ever get that red long shot from China? Nope, it was a scam. I got my money back. eBay's really good about the kind of fake stuff. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, those are performance-based parts, and that's different. They're, they're parts built on a manufacturing level, specifically with the intention of being the perfect platform. Um, so, like, if, if the guy, like, you know, sat down and made custom parts individually and handmade them and hand like you know what i mean like uh hand designed them that would be one thing but when you are on a cnc level and you're making products the same every single time here's the product here's the product here's the product um it's it's kind of a little bit different that's not really an art thing it's it's don't get me wrong uh there's a certain level of art to it that's not what i meant but uh if it, you can't charge someone a unique price if it's not a unique product um if you're selling a print of a painting it's going to sell for significantly less than the original But that's just my opinion. Just one man's opinion. I'm allowed to be wrong. So let's go ahead and start popping this open. Uh, what is your opinion on the prophecy stuff? Eh. 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 Kind of cool, eh? You know, just you know, it's not bad. I don't know. I don't. I don't have much of an opinion on it. Whatever floats your boat. If you like it, that's good. I hate doing that. It puts like huge gouges in even my self-healing mat. Uh, what is your opinion? Oh, you already... I already read that. Uh, I think I have to switch from Springer to Flywheelers. <laughs> he sees the light. I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm not, I'm, I, I joke about it a lot, you know, flywheel master race, but, uh, when it comes down to it, it's just a matter of personal preference. Um, like each one has its pros and cons, but at the end of the day, it's just your, a matter of opinion, uh, because a lot of the people I know that like springers just like the clunking feeling of like priming it and then actually firing it. And they don't, they don't like the noise of flywheel blaster. They don't like the fact that there's almost zero feedback when you're firing. Uh, they don't like the trigger pull. They don't like this. They don't like that. But they like all this other stuff about springers. Uh, and then some people, like myself, um, actually like the noise. Uh, especially when they're super balanced and there's no vibration. And, uh, you know, different things like that. But, uh... So it's just kind of a matter of opinion. In my, in my uh, well, opinion... <coughs> excuse me, opinion. Uh, money isn't a factor. If money isn't a factor, what would your ideal Springer Blaster build be? Um, I would really like to get my hands on a, um, what's it called? A remedy kit. Um, I really like stuff like that where it's like, you can't get that anymore. I'd like, a, I'd like a remedy kit if I could. Um... I know it's not the most efficient thing in the world, but I would probably switch out some things, like the bolt sled. I know this is, like, super, like, the whole point of the remedy kit is that it, it's a full set, but I would probably switch out the bolt sled for a, um, I know it's steel, I know it's stainless steel, and it's, uh, and if, like, technically doesn't, it's not as good, but, um, I would like a DRS bolt sled and a Roboman, um, plunger tube, or plunger rod the carbon fiber and aluminum one. Um, and I, I know you can get, like, other things that are, like, better or whatever, but just to say that I have, like, a remedy kit in my thing would be kind of cool. 
I know that's never going to happen, so I'd probably switch out those parts for other metal parts. Um, I would like a um, metal rail. I haven't decided on a color scheme or anything like that, but the metal rail that Monkey Mods came out with, that would be pretty cool to have on on mine. Uh, I would integrate a stock, not sure what kind. I liked what Bobo did with the Chaos stock, so I might consider that. Um, but something like that, obviously LEDs somewhere in there. Uh, make clear, I would have to make clear parts for it, obviously. Um, also, do you know if the Katana mags work with the Prophecy? I'm pretty sure they do. I thought Walcom put one in his, but I don't have any Katana mags, sad face. Uh, I want to get them, but I don't feel like investing the $150 that I would need to invest into them to get them. But I really want some, but yeah. Um, yeah, Walcom tested it. There you go. Uh, All Blaster Master... <laughs> All blasters matter. <laughs> um, I enjoy modding flywheels more, but I enjoy using springers. Uh, Alpha Trooper, uh, Neo Paint Scheme, Vosager, Cast Hard Range, uh, yeah, that's just me. Are you still on a mission to make a blaster of each type? Sort of. Sort of. Um, I've kind of been discouraged by Glass Construct just because it's a great blaster, don't get me wrong. Um, top tier, great, love it. I hate using that blaster. It is painful for me to use that blaster. I can't stand full auto. I cannot stand full auto. And I know it sucks, but... Uh, hey guys, hey RZ. Give me one sec, guys. Just making sure that I lined everything up correctly on this. Okay, just wanted to make sure. <sighs> okay. Let's try to seal up the door a little bit, because uh, when I pop these open, obviously that's going to be hell. Let's get some cardboard as well for the mixing of epoxy. Oh my goodness. Try not to drop everything. Smashing my wires, hold on. Okay, doors closed. And there we go. <coughs> yeah, Trico. That's funny. Um Nice hair, thanks. Also, finally converted to lipo. Sweet, good job. Well, goodbye, strife parts, the proper lipo and charger. That's why now I just need to do the dang flywheels. Ugh. And another raven fire. Okay. Mask is going on. We are now in mask mode. Let's get this going here. No idea where that went. Let's see, how much do I need? Probably a medium amount. Let's be safe. It's probably more than I need, but that's all right.
Better too much than too little. Hi, Hawk. Hi, Ben. Hello. What's up? Mask mode activate. Let's pop this other one. It's weird. Looks like the uh, stuff is all the way to the end of it. It's usually not like that. Throw that away. Personally, long shot with Monkey Mods Rail, uh, Metal Artifact Plunger Tube, Metal Artifact Plunger Cap, Urban and Carbon Fiber Plunger, Rod Angel Breach Explorer Pump Grip. Man, Angel Breach going old school. Uh, DRS Bolt Sled continued next. <clears throat> I, half, I doubt half the people will. I doubt half the people here even know what a angel breach is. Okay, we'll compensate because that's a lot right there, so we'll just do this. Which is quite a shame. It really is. For like an angel breach. I think we have more reliable things than angel breach now, to be honest. So the uh, the pusher style mechanism with the seal instead of like the that whole thing. I th I think the pushing the dart into the barrel is a little bit more reliable. But whatever floats your boat. What do I know? I'm I'm not a Springer guy. I know not which I speak. I remember when Angel Breaches... I, w I wasn't a modder back then. Um, but I was, a, I was a very big worker. And I remember when Angel Breaches um, got became a lot easier to do because Coop uh, made the video on them. I remember that. Because there had been write-ups, but uh, Coop made the video, and that was a lot easier. Do you know of any glue remover? I'm making a strip of the old sort of times glue in place. It depends on what glue it is. You can't really determine what remover to use unless you know what glue it is. Okay. Hopefully this stuff is okay, because that looks a little bit yellow. But, um, I'll trust it. If it doesn't cure properly, remember that I said that it doesn't look right. <laughs> I'll need a second. Won't be able to look at your comments here for a sec while I'm doing this. I'm on a time limit. Be nice if this platform didn't fall out from under me. Oh, god damn it. Sorry, just stuck my finger in it. I knew that was going to happen. Fudge. Sorry. I freaking knew that was going to happen. Get the gloves. Get the gloves. Get the gloves. No, no, no. I'm fine. Freaking told myself. 
idiot sandwich. Bob Saget. I stuck my finger right in it. Fudge. I'm so mad. I'm more mad that I knew that was going to happen. Now we're going to push this back together, and that will align the shell halves back together. doesn't have to be too terribly clean because we're going to go back and um, clean it up anyway, but the cleaner you get it now, the less work it will be later. Sorry, I haven't looked at your comments in a while. Um, there's just nothing I can do about that. One more second. You also have to be careful not to lock the two halves of the blaster together when you're doing this. I'll get a little bit of a sticky portion um, near the mag magazine well. But it's nothing that will lock it into place, so I'll be alright. Okay. Going over it one more time to make sure all of the things all the halves are pushed together properly. And I think we're good, so support that just a hair. Um just like that. Sorry. Okay, sorry. Just now taking a look at the comments. Let me know what's wrong. Bob, awake. How long has have I been dead? Well, we're at uh, two hours and twenty-one minutes now. Not sure when you came in, but uh, I can only afford one at the moment. Do you uh, do it as soon as you? Twenty-five regions. for Steve Price markup. Hawkeye, what OD do you think about many times? Uh. What do you think, how many blaster Drac has? I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, give me one sec. Um, give me one sec, guys. My dad needs some software. A solid nap, 10 out of 10? Good. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. Never mind, I think my dad got it. Okay. Um, our stream is now limited because um, I've unleashed a chemical bomb in my closet here. Uh, so I need to keep this mask on. Um, so probably going to start wrapping up here. We've been going for two hours and 22 minutes, almost 23 minutes. Um, so I think now is a good time to wrap up anyway. For a split second, I was going to reach for the water, but then I realized I have a mask. Uh, so if you guys have any last questions or comments, go ahead and start asking those now, and I will do my best to get around to that. Um, once again, a uh, new link in the description 
There are now two t-shirts. There's the Hawkeye Live t-shirt, Hawkeye 007 Live t-shirt, and then there is the standard Hawkeye 007 t-shirt. Um, no, no, don't, definitely don't need to get that, but if you wanted to check those out, uh, the links are now in the description. Uh, the live one has been there for a while, but the other one, some of you guys wanted a larger logo in the front, so I went ahead and did that for you guys. <coughs> don't forget to like, comment, subscribe! No, uh, you don't have to do any of that, but uh, if you're a subscriber and you enjoy these streams, I don't really plan them if you're new here. Um, I don't really plan them, unfortunately. It's just kind of like whenever I feel like doing something. Um, so, unfortunately, I'm, I'm really not trying to be like self-promo here. But, unfortunately, the only way that YouTube has that set up for me to tell you guys accurately without me using some other kind of media or something is for me to, is for you to hit the bell icon and like actually get notifications for when I go live. Um, unfortunately, that's really the only way that I know, uh, because otherwise I'm going to have to, like, post on Instagram and Facebook and be like, I'm about to go live! And realistically, I never do that, so... Um, up to you. Don't have to. Uh, I might go to the channel, look. Rainbow to have. Hawkeye, don't leave us. Uh, what do you think about rainbow catches? Rainbow catches are very strong catches. They are great. They are good. They are hard to make. Uh, not hard to make, but um, compared to the other catches out there, they are hard to install. Just the nature of them. Uh, that used to be all I made. Um, I already... S I made one out of aluminum once. Would not recommend. That was hard as hell. And it kind of came out meh. Um, already subbed and already liked. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I can... Murder a blue strife for my strife build? Can I murder a blue strife for my strife build? You don't have to ask. Just do it. Who cares? Uh, not in this town. <laughs> um, but yeah, you, you know, it's like, don't, don't ever like try to ask other people for whether you should do something to a blaster or not. Who cares? Don't limit, don't limit your creativity. <clears throat> Half the one of the one of the biggest things that will hold people back in this community is fear of breaking your blaster, and that's why a lot of people don't do all this stuff. Is um, they don't have jobs, they don't have an income, and so a twenty dollar blaster might not seem a lot to a lot of people who, I don't know, let's say you like to buy twenty five ravens at a time. <laughs> uh, that might not seem a lot to you and I, but to someone who doesn't have an income. That's a big deal. That's that's birthday money. That's Christmas money. That's all they get for this entire year. Um, so it's a big investment. They don't want to break their stuff. But never don't don't let that don't let that fear prevent you from doing something great. Um, just do the proper research. Um, do the proper research and everything that you need to do. Ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions, definitely. Get the proper materials. Do it right the first time. There's a reason why people tell you to do things the way they've done it, because they've done everything else before. Um, I've tried making a uh, mold vacuum-formed visor before for a helmet, and I ended up spending $300 because I didn't want to do it the way the internet told me, and I ended up doing it the way the internet told me anyway. Um, so use the proper stuff the first time. Don't try to sneak out of it or don't try to get out of it. Uh, there's a reason why they do it, but uh, have, have confidence in yourself. Um, speech over, sorry. Uh, Mart right. Okay, I killed a new, uh, I killed a new crossbow and a new box elite raven. Sweet. Always, always fun. Don't let your scroll saws, uh, don't let your scroll saw memes be dreams. <laughs> Uh, that's nothing who me. I haven't touched a blaster since New York, Neo. I don't have time for a hobby as much this semester. I'm really burned out with Nerf in general right now. Taking a break for a couple months and see how I am later. That's really sad. Um, good luck, though, with with, uh, with semester and everything. Uh, I would never buy 25 new box leaf 
Raven fires, excuse me. Uh, hey, Hawkeye! Hey, Quint, we're wrapping up here, but welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Hawkeye, what was the easiest school year for you? The first one. Um... Lots of English. I, I ended up taking seven English classes for my associates of arts. <clears throat> Got 98 or higher in all of them, somehow. Apparently I'm a good writer. I, I thought that would be the one thing I sucked at, but apparently it's the one thing I'm good at. <laughs> Okay. Okay, story this boy. Okay. Um, I do believe, I do, I say, I think, that is everything. I shouldn't be messing with this, but I'm going to. There's a little bit of a hole there. I wanted to expand it so I could fill it later without trying to dremel it. Uh, I'm not going to try to fill the hole, because I'm not that stupid, it's already past the gel point, so I just kind of ripped the hole open so that I could fill it more easily. So it's more of like a cup instead of, it was kind of like this before, with a big gap underneath here, so I just kind of opened it up, so now it's a, all the way through, so I can just fill it in later without trying to dremel it away. Um, and then there were six. Uh, so far you're getting a chemical engineer degree at... Fox University is kicking my ass. Good luck with that, man. I know there's a lot of math and stuff in that, so... Uh, I'm doing four hours straight of math without... Um, without any breaks, and I know you're probably doing more than that, so... Um, as someone... As someone who's being fried of the brain with math... I can I... I... I, I feel your pain. <laughs> Excuse me, seven. Oh, eight. Um, okay, I've said goodbye like 16 times here, but no, I mean it. Um, also, look forward to, now that he's already revealed who he is, that uh, DRS cage that I wired up was Soviet's, uh, Soviet kitties. And I accidentally forgot to send him back his rhino, uh, uh, his, um, his, um, Hellcats. But, uh, they were kind of garbage anyway. I think moisture got to them, they're really bad. But uh, that's fine because he didn't want them. So look forward to having these destroyed in future episodes. I need to figure out a way to annihilate them. Uh, have some things in mind, but we'll see. But uh, look forward to that. <laughs> stop, messing with, uh, stop messing with people. How could you forget the motors? I don't know. Okay. What? Well, this is the last time, I swear. Um, thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate you guys sticking around and watching these streams, and hopefully we can get this one out, um, sometime in the future. So, thanks for watching, and end stream.